Hello everyone and welcome to a new um, process video for my winter holiday series. Um, it's been a while since I made these, so um, join me in the journey of <laughs> wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> I know I didn't have any um, Christmas papers left. Uh, I did have this vellum. It was about the only 8.5 by 11 paper I had, so... Um, I'm winging it. I'm doing my best to um, to fix this and to make sure it all fits. Um, the pocket page was already done, so that was a no-brainer. I just added the pictures and I glued them down and that was about it. So um, that was easily done. But the other one, I had way too many pictures for just that one pocket page. So I wanted to do an 8.5 by 11 page next, next to it. But... Um, this vellum was the only paper I had left, and I had pictures that didn't really match, but um, they were pretty Christmassy, so I did want to use uh, the Christmas papers. Um, I did have this block of 6x6 six six papers from Fancy Pens, and uh, you will be uh, seeing me using it um, a little bit more. Uh, I did like the end result, so that's good, and I apologize for not being on screen. <laughs> I thought I was and here luckily through uh, because of my new camera I can see what I'm doing and I'm not looking all the time to my camera but um, I can see on my iPad what I'm doing so I just zoomed out a little bit um, so now everything is on screen so I kind of like that a feature of my camera. Um, here I'm cutting down an ephemera piece from I think it's a Pebbles a travel line, what I used, uh, but they have really big uh, white borders around everything and I did not like that. So I just cut that off and now I have a really cute camera. And I think the sticker says document this. Um, in my previous video you can see how I organized everything. So here I decided my to go to color was black. So I just had to go dig through my black um, border and my red one uh, to find all the red and black um, embellishments and that's such a time saver it's it just helps it's just easy uh, you grab or I do <laughs> grab embellishments that I normally wouldn't use or just would skip and now I'm using it like the camera I would not have um, thought about going to a travel pack and get a camera out but now I did and I really like it. So because I don't have the Christmas paper, I am getting a little bit um, more Christmas embellishments that are a little bit bigger to see if I can use those on the um, on the 8.5 by 11 page. So here I am attaching the camera with foam dots and I think I'm adding a label from Heidi Swap. That's the craft with black one. Um, it's in a clear pack with gold. There are also some black ones in there, so I, I use, I'm using that too. I'm adding an R in gold because it's Robin next to a reindeer. And the store, or the pictures or, are taken in the store. It's called Stats in um, Pasadena. And it's a really big floral uh, store. But of course they have all these Christmas things. So the kids were pretty amazed and um, just looked around. We do have some of these stores in Holland, um, but we've not been there um, with the kids that year, that Christmas, and they say everything is bigger in America. Well, it kind of is, especially these kind of stores. Um, so it's way more decorated and way bigger than we have, because in Holland it's, or the Netherlands I should say, it's um, be act normal, it's crazy enough. And we also feel that way about decorating and um, especially the holidays. Um, we are getting more and more um, decorations and crazy stuff, but not as crazy as this store. So it's kind of funny. So that's the journaling in my picture too. That it was really hard to get a selfie with just the four of us. And um, this was the best one we got. And I think there's no face of my baby boy in there just the oldest one, but at least one of them looked. So here I'm going with my 
and 11 page. I'm still looking, figuring out what page I should, what paper I should use underneath the um, vellum because it's all, it's see-through and not and so you can see things and you want a certain kind of feel and I think uh, this paper is the end paper. I do think I'm changing it out a few times but I think I'd come back to this one because it's it gives the warm feeling because it's uh, or yellow and in the pictures are, are, are a little bit yellow as well and here I'm looking for a border to find for my pictures um, I don't have any Christmas papers left so this is about it and I think I will go through my stash I should have looked at the at the pictures before I, I um, I go for it but I oh I know what I'm doing I'm getting some white cardstock and um, it's actually it's um, printer paper it's matte picture paper a photo paper and it's really nice quality so I'm using it for um, matting my pictures um, it's like 220 grams and I have no idea how many how you would say that in um, American measurements. I'm sorry, but it's just really heavyweight cardstock and I really like it. So I figured I could use that for my pictures as well. So here I'm deciding if I would go for white or gold or still a different color of the vellum. And um, I really like this Jeffrey paper as well, but it's the last piece I got and I want to use it through the entire album. Um, and it was quite expensive to be honest so I'm I'm saving it up I don't want to use it as a background paper because it's too pretty so here I'm deciding what shall I do well I do end up with the yellow one it's a paper from Crate Paper from the Journey collection and I did in the end found this Christmas uh, Project Life card or, po or pocket paid cards and I'm using that at, I cut off a lot of uh, things I did because I was just looking for through my stash and um, it's way too boring to look at so um, I found some red and green to make it more Christmas and um, the green Christmas trees is from the Christmas collection from uh, my mind's eye and now I'm just making some um, embellishment clusters um, just stacking and layering things uh, in black and red and uh, green and I'm also using um, some cork in there. I had to look. Um, that reindeer hat is cork and I punched that um, or made a die cut with my um, I think it's called Holiday from uh, Little Bee. It's one of my favorite dies. It's really nice. So here I'm backing everything up on foam tape and I know it's a lot of tape but <laughs> I really don't like it if my pictures are are um, denting because I'm because of the use of um, foam dots so I'm just using a lot of tape and here I'm cutting down that um, wreath because I might can use um, that piece on another piece of uh, cardstock and it's behind the picture you won't miss it anyway so I'm backing up some things with um, foam dots and other things I'm just cutting down and just gluing down um, I am using the Scotch Quick Dye Adhesive. It's one of my favorites. I really, really like it. So the cork is self-adhesive and I'm adding a banner and a red die cut and I'm just gluing everything down. Um, and I don't think I put it on camera, but I am adding a title uh, to it um, because I've got the name of the store, but I did um, added it to it the day after I, had, I checked. Uh, what the store was called. So here I'm making a little um, basement for my embellishment cluster with washi tape and just adding a word and I think I'm cleaning up. So this is my page and I want to thank you for watching. I hope uh, you liked my page and my rambling and um, I am almost done with my Christmas page pages and I will do in some holiday pages soon. Um, now I'm adding just some more enamel dots and puffy stickers and, and some gold stickers um, to my page. But if you really like my pages, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel 
I would really like that. And um, I also have a new website and the link is down below because you probably can't spell it anyway. <laughs> so here I'm, oh, I'm adding another um, label, I think, just to write down what it is and how the store is called. These labels, I bought those at Hobby Lobby and I really, really like them. So next time if I will go to the stage, States or when my husband goes, I probably tell him to get another one of these labels because they're fun. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.